Odell Beckham Jr.'s career has been marked by fiery outbursts, revenge trades, and missed shots at glory. Here's a look back at his most upsetting moments. Followers of Beckham's various social media accounts know that he's a dog lover. In fact, he has often shared photos of himself and his best friend, his pup Czar. Even the toughest athletes can be reduced to tears by the loss of a beloved pet. And Beckham was not immune. In 2016, he tweeted a sad photo of him leaning over and hugging Czar with the news that the dog had passed away. He uploaded a follow-up post just minutes later. You were there when they counted me out. You were there for the ups and there even more for the downs. One thing about Odell Beckham Jr. that has come to define his NFL career over the years has been his fiery temper. This was evident in December 2015 while he was playing with the New York Giants and they took on the Carolina Panthers. During the game, his anger bubbled up when he targeted Panthers cornerback Josh Norman. Beckham chased down the CB and attacked him, starting a small brawl on the field. Oh, Norman. gosh, that's the one that, I, that got me right me there. Well, that's going to get him. Uh, they're going to get a lot of mail. Oh, they're both going to get a little bit of mail. After the game, Norman said, He came back and was hunting, and it was just like malicious in every way. Beckham was subsequently handed a one-game suspension. But that was far from an isolated incident. In 2018, he famously headbutted a fan. Not an actual person, but a giant cooling unit. There are tons of videos and highlight reels devoted to nothing more than Beckham's temper. Tell you, this game's got a chance to get ugly. It might get ugly right now. It is getting ugly right now. Beckham is not unaware of his anger issues. According to Brad Wing, Beckham's former teammate on the New York Giants, the athlete recognized he needed to conquer his temper. Wing told the New York Post in 2017, He understands. He just has a lot of passion, and me and him are both learning how to harness that in a positive direction. Beckham was drafted by the New York Giants in 2014 and remained with them until he was traded to the Cleveland Browns in 2019. Beckham subsequently revealed that his experience with the Giants was one of extreme misery, leaving him depressed and fearing for his mental health throughout his tenure with the team. He elaborated on his feelings during a 2020 roundtable talk with fellow players Cam Newton, Todd Gurley, and Vic Cruz on his YouTube channel. Beckham explained that he had been telling himself, even back when he was playing college ball at LSU, that he feared one day coming to a point where he was playing football for reasons other than his sheer love of the game. When he felt that happening to him as a giant, the experience hit him hard, leading to a desire to retire. And then I struggled to deal with that, you know, depression, mental health issues, being in New York, not really liking it. It turns out that Beckham isn't alone with his issues with mental health and depression. The feelings are not at all uncommon in professional athletes. Sports psychologist Dr. John F. Murray told 24-7 Sports, Top athletes can often appear manic or even depressed after games, but this does not necessarily mean they are going off the deep end. The trade to Cleveland closed a chapter of his life that was tinged with both triumph on the field and personal darkness, given the depression he experienced during his years with the Giants. For Beckham, however, the saddest aspect of exiting the Giants was leaving behind the friends he made there, particularly teammates Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard. The player opened up about his mixed feelings during his first press conference with the Browns, saying that the hardest part was moving away from his buddies, as reported by CBS Sports. I mean, that's really what is the hardest thing, you know, like seeing Saquon and Shep the other night and like, you know, we were all like, damn, it's just, it's just different. He went on to recall his final dinner with the two, remembering all they had been through together during his time with the Giants. When Beckham Jr. came out of LSU as a first-round draft pick to the New York Giants, he found himself under the harsh glare of the media in America's biggest metropolis. Plus, the high expectations set for him had preceded his entry into the NFL. As his career progressed, sports journalists began griping that Beckham hadn't lived up to his potential and became better known for his fiery temper, flamboyant personality, and off-field antics rather than his achievements with the Giants. Among those who shared that opinion was the New York Post's Mark Cannizzaro, who wrote a scathing 2021 opinion piece titled, Odell Beckham has become a sad waste and there's only one way to fix it. In the article, he complained that Beckham had fallen prey to the stardom accompanying his talent as a football player. He wrote, 
Beckham has made himself a case study in how a professional athlete lets success and attention get to his head. Interestingly, Cannizzaro's words echoed those of Giants co-owner John Mara from a few years earlier. Mara told reporters of Beckham at the NFL Fall League meeting in 2018, I wish he would create the headlines by his play on the field as opposed to what he says and does off the field. I think he needs to do a little more playing and a little less talking. I'm tired of answering questions uh, about Odell's behavior and, you know, what the latest incident is. When Odell Beckham Jr. was traded from the New York Giants to the Cleveland Browns, he felt blindsided. He admitted on the All Things Covered podcast in 2020, I never thought I would play for another team besides the Giants. I never wanted to win a championship for anybody more than the Giants, bro. It just was such a legendary place. I was very proud to be a part of that organization. According to Beckham, it all went south when new coaching staff entered the picture. He claimed that things turned sour when coaches began advising younger players on the team to stay away from him, essentially turning his teammates against him. Beckham was even more pointed when he appeared on the Punchline podcast, asserting there were far better teams than the Browns that the Giants could have traded him to. He said that the trade felt like retribution. There's semi a bit of me that like feel like the Giants sent me off, I've said it before, sent me off to Cleveland to die. For any athlete who makes it into the NFL, the ultimate dream is to one day make it into the Super Bowl. In 2021, Odell Beckham Jr. was released from the Cleveland Browns and joined the Los Angeles Rams. During his first season with the Rams, he and the team made it to the big game, something he hadn't been able to achieve during his years with the New York Giants. He entered the 2022 edition of the Super Bowl, in which the Rams faced off against the Cincinnati Bengals as if shot out of a cannon, scoring the first touchdown of the game. As the game continued, Beckham appeared to be on track to be named a Super Bowl MVP, but then tragedy struck. Toward the end of the second quarter, quarterback Matthew Stafford fired a pass to Beckham, who initially caught it, but then immediately crumbled to the ground. After a medical examination, it was determined that Beckham had torn his ACL, which was the second time he had suffered the exact same injury on the same leg in less than 18 months. While the Rams managed to win the game without him, giving him the Super Bowl ring he had craved for his entire life, his future in the NFL had become one big question mark. Injuring his ACL during the Super Bowl took Beckham out of commission for more than a year, forcing him to sit out the entire season while he recovered. If there was a silver lining, it was the arrival of Zidane, his son with partner Lauren Woods, who was born days after his injury. That August, he took to Instagram, posting a lengthy message to reveal that not only was he recovering from that injury, he had also been dealing with depression over where it had left him. However, Beckham also realized that he faced a clear choice. He could either remain in that state or do everything he could to lift himself out of it. He said, As an athlete, I hate seeing things about mental illness. Not to say it's not real, but deep down inside, I believe the mind can overpower it all. In 2023, things started to look up when he parted ways with the Los Angeles Rams and signed a one-year deal with the Baltimore Ravens. He said, it's been a long time having to sit out and watch other people and not get to play. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. About the opportunity, you know, we have in front of us. And again, like I said, I take that serious. Like, I take it very serious. Model Lauren Wood took her relationship with Odell Beckham Jr. public in November 2019, posting several photos on Instagram for his birthday. In November 2021, the pair announced that they were expecting their first child with son Zidane arriving the following February. That July, the couple attended the ESPY Awards, accompanied by their infant son outfitted in an adorable little tuxedo. But even as they continued to post sweet social media messages gushing over each other, all was apparently not well. At some point in early 2023, the two broke up after several years together as a couple. While neither Wood nor Beckham has spoken out publicly about the split, there's no denying the sadness of a long-term relationship ending, particularly when there's a child involved. That said, some media reports indicate that Beckham may have moved on. In September 2023, a source told Page Six that Beckham had been spending time with Kim Kardashian. According to the source, the football player and the reality TV star have been, quote, hanging out casually in the wake of the breakup. However, a subsequent report from In Touch claimed there was nothing casual about Beckham's relationship with Kardashian. The source claimed, 
They're dating, and Odell even went to Kim's in Calabasas to meet the whole family during one of Khloe Kardashian's kids' birthday parties a few weeks ago. Beyond the devastating injury that left him sidelined, Odell Beckham Jr. also looked at Super Bowl 56 as a lost opportunity. He told the Baltimore Sun, It sucks. I could feel it that day when I woke up. I knew that I was probably going to be the best person on the field that day. Even Beckham's 2023 comeback was somewhat shaky, sitting out two full games after injuring his ankle and making just seven catches in the first five weeks of the season. Injury or not, Beckham was determined to improve. He said, I've just got to come out and be better, plain and simple. It starts with my energy day to day. While he may have overcome depression by his self-proclaimed willpower, his injury was something else altogether. Beckham's weak start with the Ravens certainly didn't go unnoticed, and fans began predicting his career was, if not officially over, then well on its way to ending. Hopefully, things turn around for him in the years to come.